that we, we have the hospitality have experienced uh, since the, the pandemic came in. Came in. And the next cocktail was a uh, gin based cocktail. Uh, it was called a tiny, 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 tiny lady. Uh, I know you're not too much into cocktails, but tiny lady is a, is a, is a, is a twist of a, a classic cocktail called a white lady. So the white lady was invented long ago when there was a the prohibition of alcohol and I tried to do the same because we are in the same kind of era as we are in now. Uh, the black cocktail it was based on the uh, so it's a highball. Uh, highball that's a cocktail serving a long glass and it has a solid for building. Uh, it had some very fancy syrup for that we call it a sharp. Popcorn, popcorn syrup, popcorn and chamomile syrup, and Johnny Walker and Sugar Water. Uh, the last cocktail was uh, Coil America, which was pulled back on based. And that's where you see, that's where you, that's a culture of serving whiskey and beer. So um, that's it, those are the four cocktails that got me to where I am. And I like the confidence in you. And uh, allow me to ask, did you see yourself emerging as the winner? Uh, let me say I didn't see that because I've done lots of competitions and uh, once, you, uh, once you get, you, you give yourself too much expectations, when it fails you can, 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 and I just did all I did, all I could, and did it for the results. I did a bit well. And then they go good fruits. And yeah, actually, want, to, right? to, to add on that, uh -huh. on the day of the competition, I forgot my four, four ingredients of the four. You can imagine the whole situation I was in. But luckily, uh, I called my so he organized for the uh, ingredients, ingredients to be brought to me in uh -huh. 5-15 minutes. Uh -huh. yeah, there you go. After all that, I mean, yeah, sure. In your hands, you in have it in your hands. Yeah, sure. So what stood out for you throughout the entire competition? Okay, we uh -huh. tomorrow, yeah. we'll go tomorrow. Yeah, we'll the entire competition. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, actually, uh, what can you what we used to do and what we are doing now is to show white beer stem. Yes. And in the UK, it's more of the most African. We are looking at it more in terms of cocktails. So I think it's just the beer. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Are you going to Madrid or are you going to be virtual due to the pandemic? No, uh, in some of the chances it will be virtual because of the traveling together. Uh, but all in all, uh, I'm ready to be in a lively or virtual. We are rooting, we are rooting for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I know it's kind of a top secret right now, but what can we expect from you? What will you, how will you represent the country? I'm going to be the first time. I'm going to be the first time. I'm going to be the first time. And I'm quite sure I'm going to be the first time. You're gonna, you're gonna imagine winning. I have a lot of hope in you. So yeah. yes, you have a lot of hope. I have a lot of because I admire, I yeah. admire your confidence. It's, yeah. it's on another level. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay. So that's your comment. Talk to the people who are rooting for you. Tell them something as we conclude today. My fellow Kenyans, I'm here again, Kelvin Dayatayu. And I'm ready to represent you and the whole of Kenya and the bartending industry in Madrid for the finals. For the upcoming bartenders, I'd like to tell you that it's never too late. Just work on your journey, be passionate, and just know that bartending is just uh, is, is an, is, is a professional, just as any other professional is. Thank you very much.
Thank you, Kelvin. Thank you. We appreciate your time and we wish you all the best. Thank you, thank you. That's it from us from the Standard Entertainment and Lifestyle. I have been your host, Perry Swamboli. Thank you.